हाई डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल एन वन ए कुमार बेसिक्स ऑफ फिजिक्स डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट दी वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट लॉन्ग आंसर क्वेश्चन इन द चैप्टर ऑफ वेव्स दैट इज डॉपलर इफेक्ट मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन चिल्ड्रन फॉर लॉन्ग आंसर एट मार्क्स क्वेश्चन फॉर तेलंगाना पीपल तेलंगाना स्टूडेंट्स एंड एफ यू स्टूडेंट्स आल्सो इट इज सो यूजफुल चिल्ड्रन इन अवर चैनल इंटरमीड फर्स्ट ईयर सेकेंड इयर फिजिक्स चाप्टर एवरी टॉपिक एवरी क्वेश्चन इज गोइंग टू बी अपलोड इन अवर चैनल दैट्स वाई यू मस्ट सब्सक्राइब चैनल एंड फॉलो मई चैनल रेग्युर्ली सो चिल्ड्रन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबउट दि डॉपलर एफेक्ट वाट इज डॉपलर एफेक्ट सो चिल्ड्रन द क्वेश्चन शुड बी लाइक दैट What is the Doppler effect after an expression for the apparent frequency of sound when the source in motion with respect to an observer at rest? What is Doppler effect after an expression for the apparent frequency of sound when the source is in motion with respect to an observer at rest? So children, here the condition is source is in motion and observer is at rest. Observer is at rest. So, what I want to add a Doppler effect and define chema nado at the same time apparent frequency ki equation derive chema nado. So, what is Doppler effect? The apparent change in frequency heard by the observer when the source and observer both are in relative motion. That is what we call Doppler effect. The apparent change in frequency heard by the observer when the source and observer both are in relative motion observer source evaithe sound produces so dani mana source antam evaraithe vintunaro valani observer antam so manaki oka observer inetundi sound frequency lo vache tundi changes source observer iddar relative motion lo unnappudu మనకి అబ్జర్వ్ వినే సౌండ్లో మార్పు వస్తుంది దాన్ని మనం ఏమంటామంటే డాప్లర్ ఎఫెక్ట్ అంటాము ద అపరెంట్ చేంజ్ ఇన్ ఫ్రీక్వెన్సీ హియర్ బై ది అబ్జర్వర్ వెన్ ద సోర్స్ అండ్ అబ్జర్వ్ బోత్ ఆర్ ఇన్ రిలేటివ్ మోషన్ దట్ ఈస్ వాట్ వీ కాల్ డాప్లర్ ఎఫెక్ట్ సో నౌ జస్ట్ ఐ విల్ గివ్ వన్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ దెన్ ఆటోమేటిక్లీ క్యూన్ అండర్స్టాండ్ దట్ వన్ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ హియర్ లుక్ హియర్ దిస్ ఈజ్ అ వన్ రైల్వే స్టేషన్ and he was the observer he was observer and a person is waiting at a platform in the railway station so he found that the train is coming from long distance by blowing horn the whistling train is coming towards the platform and they can then he can listen the less amount of sound of frequency and when the train approaches the platform he can observe that or he can hear that more sound of frequency and when the same train is moving away from the railway platform then he can again he can listen the less amount of sound of frequency so that is here you have to observe when here the blowing horn of train is the source when the source is at long distance he can listen the less amount of frequency of sound when the train is approaches the platform he can observe that the sound is increases and again when the train is moving away from the s railway platform he can again observe that the sound is decreases so ఒక రైల్వే స్టేషన్లో ప్లాట్ఫామ్ మీద ఒక వ్యక్తి వెయిట్ చేస్తున్నప్పుడు ఒక రైల్ ఇంజిన్ అనేది హార్న్ బ్లో చేస్తూ వచ్చేస్తుంది ఎప్పుడైతే ట్రైన్ చాలా లాంగ్ డిస్టెన్స్లో ఉంటుందో ఈ అబ్జర్వర్ ఏం చేస్తారంటే ఈ కెన్ రిసీవ్స్ ది లెస్ సౌండ్ సో ఎప్పుడైతే మనకి ఆ ట్రైన్ అనేది ఫ్లాట్ఫామ్ని అప్రోచ్ అవుతూ ఉంటుందో ద అబ్జర్వర్ విల్ రిసీవ్స్ ది మోర్ సౌండ్ ఆఫ్ ఫ్రీక్వెన్సీ అండ్ వెన్ ద సౌండ్ ఈజ్ I mean when the train is moving away from the platform platform ni samipisthunnappudu em avutundi sound increase avutundi so eppudu the platform vachesi adi aakunda cross cheskuni vellipothunnappudu sound vaadi vine sound tagguthundi so here the sound here by the observer is different but the actual frequency produced by the engine or horn of the train is everywhere is same that is what we call actual frequency 
ట్రైన్ అనేది ప్లాట్ఫామ్కి దూరంగా ఉన్నా ప్లాట్ఫామ్ దగ్గర ఉన్నా ప్లాట్ఫామ్ని క్రాస్ చేస్తూ వెళుతూ ఉన్నా ఆ ఇంజిన్ అనేది ఎంత సౌండ్ని ప్రొడ్యూస్ చేయాలో అంతే సౌండ్ని ప్రొడ్యూస్ చేస్తుంది అప్పుడు దాని ఫ్రీక్వెన్సీ సేమ్ ఉంటుంది బట్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద డిఫరెన్స్ హియర్ ద ఫ్రీక్వెన్సీ హియర్ బై ది అబ్జర్వర్ when the train is far away from him he can hear the less sound when the train approaches the sound increases and when the train moving away from the platform he can observe that the sound is decreases but actually there is no difference in the sound produced by the horn of the train train anedi horn enta frequency undo ante frequency ni produce chestundi adi platform ku dooranga unna ప్లాట్ఫామ్ దగ్గర ఉన్న ఫ్లాట్ఫామ్ క్రాస్ చేసిపోతున్నా కానీ అది దాని యొక్క ఫ్రీక్వెన్సీ సేమ్ ఉంటుంది కానీ డిఫరెన్స్ ఎక్కడ మనం వినేటువంటి ఆ అబ్జర్వ్ అయినటువంటి సౌండ్ ద ఫ్రీక్వెన్సీ రిసీవ్ బై ది అబ్జర్వ్ ఈస్ డిఫరెంట్ ద దట్ మచ్ ఆఫ్ డిఫరెన్స్ ఇన్ ద ఫ్రీక్వెన్సీ ఈస్ కాల్ డాప్లర్ ఎఫెక్ట్ ద ఆపరెంట్ చేంజ్ ఇన్ ఫ్రీక్వెన్సీ హియర్ అంటే ఒక అబ్జర్వర్ వాడు వినేటువంటి సౌండ్లో డిఫరెన్స్ ఏవైతే మనం ఫైండ్ అవుట్ చేయగలుగుతున్నామో దాన్ని మనం డాఫ్లర్ ఎఫెక్ట్ అంటాము ద ఆపరెంట్ చేంజ్ ఇన్ ఫ్రీక్వెన్సీ హియర్ బై ది అబ్జర్వర్ వెన్ ద సోర్స్ అండ్ అబ్జర్వర్ పోతారు ఇన్ రిలేటివ్ మోషన్ దట్ ఈస్ అబౌట్ ది డాప్లర్ ఎఫెక్ట్ సో వెరీ సింపుల్ మనం డీజే బాక్స్ దగ్గర ఉంటాం సౌండ్ ఎక్కువ ఉంటుంది ఆ డీజే బాక్స్ ఇచ్చి దూరంగా వెళ్తుంటే సౌండ్ తగ్గుతూ ఉంటుంది అంటే డీజే ఎంత సౌండ్ ప్రొడ్యూస్ చేయాలో అంతే సౌండ్ ప్రొడ్యూస్ చేస్తుంది కానీ మనం దూరంగా వెళుతున్నప్పుడు ఏమవుతుంది మనం వినే సౌండ్ తగ్గుతుంది అంటే మనం వినే ఫ్రీక్వెన్సీలో వచ్చి చేంజ్ చేస్తేనే డాప్లర్ ఎఫెక్ట్ అంటాం క్లియర్ అండ్ నెక్స్ట్ థింగ్ ఈస్ వాట్ ఈస్ డాప్లర్ షిఫ్ట్ ద డిఫరెన్స్ ఇన్ ద యాక్చువల్ ఫ్రీక్వెన్సీ అండ్ ఆపరెంట్ ఫ్రీక్వెన్సీ దట్ ఈస్ వాట్ వీ కాల్ డాప్లర్ షిఫ్ట్ సో మనకి రైల్ ట్రైన్ హార్న్ అనేది ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఇక్కడ మనకి ఒక 1200 హండ్రెడ్ హెడ్జెస్ సౌండ్ ప్రొడ్యూస్ చేస్తుంది మనం దూరంగా ఉన్నప్పుడు ఎయిట్ హండ్రెడ్ హెడ్జెస్ మాత్రమే మనం రీచ్ అవుతుంది అబ్జర్వర్కి రీచ్ అవుతుంది సో ఈ ట్వెల్వ్ హండ్రెడ్ హెడ్జెస్ అనేది యాక్చువల్ ఫ్రీక్వెన్సీ అండ్ వాడు వినే ఫ్రీక్వెన్సీ ఎంత ఎయిట్ హండ్రెడ్ ఫ్రీక్వెన్సీ ద డిఫరెన్స్ బిట్వీన్ దీస్ టూ ఈస్ కాల్ హియర్ నౌ డాప్లర్ షిఫ్ట్ వాట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ డాప్లర్ షిఫ్ట్ ద డిఫరెన్స్ ఆఫ్ యాక్చువల్ ఫ్రీక్వెన్సీ ప్రొడ్యూస్ బై ది సోర్స్ and uh, the frequency here by the observer the difference between these two is called doppler shift clear children so this is about the doppler effect and doppler shift clear dear students now we have to derive the expression for apparent frequency when the source is in motion and observer is at rest clear ipudu mana apparent frequency ki equation derive cheyali అది ఏమిటి కండిషన్ అండి సోర్స్ ఈస్ ఇన్ మోషన్ అండ్ అబ్జర్వ్ ఈస్ అట్ రెస్ట్ సో చిల్డ్రన్ ఫర్ దట్ ఫస్ట్ వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు ది వన్ ఎస్యూమ్షన్ దట్ ఈస్ వాట్ హియర్ ఎస్ మీన్స్ సోర్స్ ఎస్ ఈస్ ద సోర్స్ అండ్ ఓ ఈస్ ద అబ్జర్వర్ క్లియర్ ఓ ఈస్ ద అబ్జర్వర్ వెన్ ద సోర్స్ అండ్ అబ్జర్వర్ బోత్ ఆర్ అట్ ఇనిషియల్లీ అట్ రెస్ట్ బోత్ ఆర్ initially at rest and the source can produces the sound then here nu is the actual frequency and lambda is the wavelength of sound clear got my point when source and observer both are at rest then even though they both are at rest source can produces the sound then the frequency observed by the observe is nu that is actual frequency and lambda is the wave length of this sound so what it is nu is the actual frequency actual frequency and lambda is the wave length wave length of sound when both are at rest after that now here we are saying that source is moving towards moving towards stationary observer stationary observer with velocity vs clear next thing is what the source is moving towards the observer stationary observer 
with velocity v s with velocity v s when obviously when the source is moving towards the observer then obviously there is some change in frequency here by the observer and wavelength also changed so here you have to observe how much distance travel here it is now we have to find out it so what we know velocity is equal to what do you write s displacement by time taken here displacement is nothing but what velocity into time here the distance travel is nothing but here velocity what we are saying vs and time is t that's why here the distance travel is vs into t that's why here what you have to say when it is coming from here to here the distance travel is what vs into t what it is as vs into t that is what distance travel or distance covered by the source by the source it in the time in time t that is what v s into t v s into t obviously here s to o that is lambda now this is how much v s into t v s into t now the new wavelength is lambda dash and apparent frequency is nu dash that's why here what we have to write nu lambda dash is nothing but new wavelength so actual wavelength is what lambda so here from figure from figure what you have to write from figure what you have to write lambda is equal to nothing but lambda dash minus vs into t clear simply this is what lambda and this is what lambda dash so if you want to find out the lambda dash what you have to write simply lambda minus vs into t that's why here from figure new wavelength new wavelength what you have to write lambda dash is equal to what to write lambda minus vs into t so this is the new wavelength children clear so obviously what i told you when both are at rest what do we know nu is the actual frequency and lambda is the original wavelength that is here then what you have to write c is equals to what write nu lambda and nu is equals to c by lambda nu is equals to c by lambda that is the expression for actual frequency when lambda changes nu also changes that's why here what you have to write apparent frequency apparent frequency that is what write nu dash is equals to c by lambda dash nu dash is equals to c by lambda dash so children the nu dash is equals to c by what is lambda dash value this one lambda minus v s of t this is a nu dash and already we know that look here children nu dash is equals to we are going to write c by lambda minus v s into t lambda minus v s into d from this formula c is equals to nu lambda what do you write lambda means c by nu that's why i am going to write this is c by nu minus v s into t v s into t here since lambda is equals to what right c by nu clear after that nu dash is equals to what right c by c by nu minus v s of we are writing instead of t we are going to write this is the nu 1 by nu because the relation between time period and frequency is given by t is equals to 1 by nu or nu is equals to 1 by t like that that's why we substitute instead of t what you have to write 1 by nu 1 by nu therefore nu dash is equals to c by c minus v s by nu we can write therefore nu dash is equals to c by c minus v s of nu so this is the expression for apparent frequency this is what expression for apparent frequency so children nu dash is the apparent frequency and what you have to say c by c minus v s of nu we are adding so when the source is moving towards the Stationary observer, the actual frequency what it is there, 
sorry the actual frequency nu is there and nu dash is what apparent frequency the apparent frequency is more than the actual frequency in this case wavelength is decreases frequency is increases that's why what you have to say apparent frequency is greater than the actual frequency so this is the expression for now children what it is apparent frequency when the source is moving towards stationary observer clear children so this is what when when the source is moving towards the stationary observer if the source is moving away from the observer then there is small modification in this entire derivation okay so id ardham aithe meeku manaki source anedi observer nunchi dooranga velutunappudu em avutundante simple ga ekkadaithe minus undo akkada plus raaskuntu raavali dan children up to now what we discussed the source is moving towards stationary observer for that we derived expression is what apparent frequency is nu dash is equals to c by c minus vs here what is vs velocity of source children now the condition is source is moving away from the stationary observer then how the apparent frequency equation can be changes let's go for that so children as is well here this is the source and this is the observer initially both are at rest then the frequency is given by actual frequency what is nu and lambda is the wavelength of sound when source is producing the sound but is at rest and observer is also at rest then what we say nu is the actual frequency lambda is the wavelength then what we write c is equals to nu lambda nu is equals to c by lambda after that what we are saying the source is moving in this direction that means moving away from the observer with velocity vs then the distance travel in the time t distance travel in the time t that is what vs into t clear so the source is moving vs into t distance in the time t then obviously the source is moving away from the observer that's why the new wavelength is changes that is what lambda dash wavelength can be changed that new wavelength is what we take lambda dash so children from the figure what you have to write lambda here lambda it is there and this is the lambda dash now how we can write the lambda dash lambda dash is nothing but lambda plus vs into t lambda plus vs into t that's why here the distance covered by the source in the time t is vs into t now from figure the new wavelength so in the mundane manam source is moving towards observer nappudu we are taking reckon minus now we have to write this is plus and go lambda dash is equals to lambda plus vs into t avutundi ayinappudu the apparent frequency new frequency is what nu dash is equals to c by lambda dash so ekkadithe manam ippudu minus rasamo ippudu anchoru manam em raali plus raali same as usual nu dash is equals to c by lambda dash plus vs into t so what is lambda c by nu so kaabatti kada c by nu substitute chesam instead of minus what we again plus so as usual t and m rasanam 1 by nu rasanam so mottam em avutundi yes nu dash is equals to c by c plus vs into c plus vs ostundi eppudu when the source is moving away moving towards anapo ikkada minus ostundi ipude emo moving away anapudu plus ostundi the same time ikkada em avutundante the apparent frequency is less than indu mundhe emo greater than annam ipude em avutundante nu dash is less than the nu that is what apparent frequency is less than the actual frequency so this is about the children the doppler effect when source is in motion and observer is at rest so i think you can understand this one if you can understand this one like share comment the video and subscribe my channel also children so children in our channel we are going to upload all the intermediate videos and m set neat videos also that's why you must subscribe our channel and you have to suggest our, our channel to your friends also okay thank you